Joining me now from St. Louis, Missouri, Executive Director of the Coalition for Life St. Louis, Brian Westbrook. Brian, here's the reality. The gravity of the situation is maybe this week, next week, who knows. But uh, Missouri, all of Missouri, could become an abortion-free zone. Yes, absolutely. We've been uh, waiting for this uh, for quite a long time, and, and hopefully uh, we'll see an end to abortion in St. Louis and then across the great state of Missouri. Where are we in the court case right now? Wh wh where do you stand? Uh, sure. So, so the court case is a, uh, a lawsuit filed by Planned Parenthood uh, naming the Department of Health and Senior Services and the Attorney General. And so they're suing the state, hoping to... Uh, uh, and continue their license to continue their abortion business. And so their big argument is saying that the Department of Health and Senior Services doesn't have the authority to withhold a license simply because uh, they have an investigation going on into some of the, you know, possible malpractice things that are going on. But we're talking about health and code so, violations, right? I mean, that's what this comes down absolutely. to. Absolutely. Uh, so we heard from Governor Parsons that Specifically, there were several cases where women would come back to Planned Parenthood still pregnant after having wow. an abortion done. And then we do know that since 2009, we've seen 74 ambulances leave this abortion facility, uh, medical emergencies where people have been transported to the hospital from this facility. And so they were just trying to figure out and get to the bottom of this. And one of the things they're asking for is to interview all of the abortionists, or the doctors who work in that abortion facility. Uh, five of those individuals have refused to come forward and talk about many of these medical emergencies so, that are happening. So this is something that might drag out a little bit longer, may not get a resolution this week. How did, how did Missouri get to this point uh, where, you know, if it's, it was only uh, as recently as the 1980s where there were around 30 or so abortion clinics in Missouri. Now you're down to one and, and possibly zero by the end of the year, let's say. Uh, how did you get to this point? Was it by design? Uh, so uh, in 1984, Missouri was at the height of abortions. They had over 20,000 abortions happening in the state of Missouri. Last year, there was 2,472 abortions in the state of Missouri. And this is 100% by design. So uh, over and over and over again, uh, pro-life individuals have been electing more and more pro-life legislatures, uh, both in the House and also in the Senate uh, here at the state level. Uh, we have probably five different lobbying, conservative lobbying groups from Missouri Right to Life to uh, Concerned Women to, for America, and the list goes on and on, uh, groups who are getting politicians elected. And then now we have uh, not just the General Assembly, but we also have the governor's office and also the attorney general's office. And if Planned Parenthood is not abortioned, uh, if you will, aborted by the courts, uh, there is now a law in place in, in Missouri that protects life uh, after eight weeks, right? It's essentially a heartbeat bill? Uh, yes. Yeah, so the, the bill is actually protecting that eight weeks, 14 weeks, and 20 weeks so that if the court says that the eight week doesn't stand and the 14 week will and then the 20 week will. And so one of the things we were really excited about is continuing to push this law and make sure that it you know, will withstand the court battles. But one of the most important threats at this moment is what's called a referendum vote. And so uh, many individuals want to make sure that this doesn't become law on August 28th. Mm. And so what they're going to do is try and put it up to a vote uh, for the people uh, to decide uh, in November of 2020. Well, keep us informed. And uh, the radicals are going crazy uh, in Missouri and other states <laughs> like uh, Alabama because they know that uh, you're, you're winning. You're winning this issue. You're also winning hearts and minds. So please uh, keep us informed. Brian, thanks. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.